starting the live video. So if you were just here a minute ago watching our demo on the dry heat erase pens, I'm going to show you some new stuff we have that just came in. My name is Tisha Copeland and I am with Not Your Mama's Quilt Store in Plano, Texas. Let's see who's going to join us today. There's somebody! Give me a hello and a thumbs up. I want to say hi to you for coming in today. Tell your friends and family to come in, come over and look at the video. Just hit share. I think it's right up there. You can do share live video or share something like that and then it'll tell people that you're here watching a video. So, have you ever been into my store before? No? I'd love to see you. Bonnie Landon is watching. Hey, Bonnie. How are you? I want to show you some great new fabrics we got in. They are so cute. I got to put my glasses on so I can show you how cute. First things I want to show you. I'm sorry I keep looking up there because I know people are typing to me and I'm trying to read. So that's why I keep looking over at the side because I'm trying to read stuff too. So I want to show you one of our newest lines. This one is oh, to die for look at these dogs look at them look oh my gosh how cute is that okay you gotta tell your friends to come look at this video look how cute this dog is it's like a little border collie look at the little nose i think i love these flowers just how pretty they are look it has like a little baby's breath or something up there here's another one looks like a little boxer so cute look at her clothes i want you to pay attention to the clothes on these also because they're very cute look at this little terrier i love the little sparkles they put in their eyes it just makes them look so cute and they all have little smiles and this little border collie again so cute so these are about four and a half inches wide right here the repeat is two panels so here is um one right here one row here's the other one they are six inches from here to here six inches here to here so it's a third of a yard if you want a full repeat right here like this it's going to be a third of a yard 12 inches um it really is the same thing from row to row they're just spread out uh, arranged differently but it's the same ones this line is called um it's by blend fabrics it's called floral pets and it is by mia charo can you see it right there mia charo blend and she designs for them and it is called floral pets so so cute you can fi follow her i guess or hashtag oops sorry um the blend fabrics if you're going to post blend fabrics mia charo i'm moving too much aren't i and floral pets so cute so we have the dogs look at this one look at this one wait a minute i gotta get it because i'm trying to do it with one hand hold on meow <laughs> look at these cats she has glasses on <laughs> How cute are the cats? I love the red flowers, like the poppies right there. A blue cat. Is this like once in a blue moon, but it's once in a blue cat? Look at them. Look at their little noses and their little tiny mouths. How cute. Look at her dress. Very fancy. Just adorable. Adorable. How cute, right? Same thing. They're about six inches tall four and a half inches wide this is part of the same line and then showing you are you liking these give me a thumbs up or an oh my god I love them kind of thing I need to know you like it look at this line right here okay so this is all part of the same thing these are coordinating fabrics thank you these are coordinating fabrics right here pretty little flowers in there little little leaves and stuff little yellow flowers 
you've got some little red ones right there and some other red ones it's a light blue kind of a turquoise background and these little leaves right here are actually a navy blue they're not black this is really cute I can't decide if it goes this way like little cotton bowls or if it goes this way like little lemons I guess you could do it either way again really really cute can, you can kind of see how big these are they're um, maybe about the size of a fingernail but really really cute also that little light background with the yellow and the little leaves yeah you know what I think they're I think they're um, lemons don't you I think that's what they are here's one that I just think is yummy I could see this being used for a lot of things not just for a quilt I think it would make a really pretty blouse really pretty bag or purse I could see a skirt out of it I really like the dark blue behind it with the white lines the line drawing and there's no other colors in here so I think it's really pretty and attractive um, the sizes you can see the scale kind of of how big it is right there really nice here is one more ooh this one's yummy has all those bright florals of the orange and pink green <coughs> look at those that looks like what is it queen's lace cap or something like that lace cap i don't know these are hibiscus it looks like maybe poppies can't really tell for sure but it is really pretty i don't know that they really design trying to give really specific flowers but artistic interpretation here's another green one that kind of looks like that blue one that I was just showing you see here's the blue there's the green so again really pretty I love the light yeah Barbara I like the blue too really pretty um, thanks Susan it is pretty here is oh this is like the blue one that was on the background also oh, okay I see what we got going on here I actually didn't get to see all of these when they came in because I was on vacation it was actually just a long weekend so I didn't get to see everything when it came in so I'm almost looking at it with you too right here because you know we order our stuff way long ago so I forget what I ordered or what it looked like so this is gonna be the same thing but in what we would call a pink colorway this is in the blue colorway it's got those little leaves little flowers get really cute the thread is free I throw it in just for good measure look at those little tiny berries sometimes I don't see something until I'm looking at it through the camera lens look at the little tiny berries very sweet so pink colorway blue colorway and then we've got another set of lemons so now I see what we've got going on here we've got the blue lemons blue colorway with the pink very cute and then ooh, here's that pretty blue again so this is going to be the blue colorway that goes along with the white colorway oh yum 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 love this love it so this line is called floral pets and it is by Mia Charo for blend fabrics We've got it in the store now. If you like it, come on in and get it because you know, once I start showing pets, especially cats, people start flocking to come and get this. Okay, so hold on. Ah, let me switch gears here because I am going to make a pile of stuff right here. And I am going to show you another line that just came in called Wonder. Wonder is by Wyndham Fabrics. It is absolutely beautiful and there's a panel that goes with it. The panel is so pretty. You can um, just quilt around it. You don't even have to do any piecing because of the way it was designed. It looks like it's been pieced already. So this line is called Wonder and this is by Wyndham Fabrics. Um, I'm trying to see who the designer is. You know, sometimes when I have to think, Carrie Bloomston, um, when I have to think of who designed something, my brain is a little slow sometimes. That's what happens when you're 55, when I'm 56. So this line is uh, Carrie Bloomston. 
She is with Wyndham Fabrics. Let me see. I know, I'm tempting you. Wyndham Fabrics. And it is called Wonder. Oh, there's the whole thing. Okay, now you can see the whole thing. Let me show you the panel that goes with it first so that you can get an idea of how all of this is going to work together. And let me see if I can do this without tripping and killing myself. So, here is the whole panel, right? I'm gonna stand far away. Can you see how pretty that is? It's like a tree house, literally, because it's a tree with houses and butterflies. I'm gonna come up a little bit closer to it. This hasn't been pieced by us. This is all part of the panel. So you can see it's got like a coffee cup. Um, this is really pretty. It looks like newspaper done string quilting. The tree looks like it's newspaper cut up. Leaves, houses, butterfly, bicycles. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. So this panel measures 44 by 54 and it runs $22.99. You don't even have to do anything to it. Hey, Kathy, you don't even have to do anything to it if you just want to leave it whole, whole cloth and quilt it just like that. It would be really pretty to quilt um, as a whole cloth and just do echo quilting around everything if you wanted to. And it's a good little lap size. I've made quilts that size for other people. But let me show you some of the other fabrics that go along with it. We're going to come over here. Hello. <laughs> now be careful and don't trip on that, please. And then, see I have to make sure that we're not tripping on anything. I know, Brickell, it is sweet. So, some of the other fabrics that go along with this. Look how pretty these are. So, I really like a collage looking uh, I like paper collage. I actually like the art of collage. And I like it when something looks like collage, but maybe it's not. And that's what these are going to be. These look like they've been cut out of newspaper, put together with some tape and glue. That looks like a notebook right there. A little bit of fabric. A little bit, of, oh look, a map used for those butterflies. Really pretty and very artistic. So this is going to be the lighter colorway. This one I do know, I have had a chance to kind of start pulling this out and playing with it a little bit. Um, here is the dark blue colorway. And one thing I want you to notice about this background, and this will be important in just a minute because I'm gonna tell you something. The background looks like paint swashes, right? It looks like it's been painted. So here is the blue colorway. Here is the white colorway or the cream colorway. And look at the blue background. See how it looks like paint swashes? We got a couple of solids to go along with that that has nothing on it. It's just the, the swashes of color. So very, very pretty. Light and then the dark. And again, just really cool designs. The Butterflies look like it's got a little bit of a map. It's got a little bit of drawing, newspaper print right there. Really fun. You can see where um, there was some ink drawn around the um, newspaper. Just a really fun line. Okay, next thing that is always a big hit with everybody are the bicycles. And I think this is just a fun day walking in the park with your bicycle, of course. And you've got these fun little bicycles, again, done like a collage method. And look at the detail, she's got little chains on them, a little tiny light on the back, basket, really pretty. Oh, she even has little coils under the sh uh, seat. So cute, I love this. So that is going to be the bicycle colorway in blue. And then here, oh look, I didn't know I had, okay, I told you I was looking at it. Here is a colorway in the turquoise for the butterflies. This is a really pretty teal. So I didn't know I had a teal also. I, I guess I'm, I haven't played with it as much as I thought I did. So that's the teal. Um, here is the bicycles, but with a gray background. So the background's really pretty with this one too. Are y'all liking these? Have I bored you? Do you want me to go on to something else? 
I have. I wish I had a million, a billion dollars that I could give away from the lottery, but I didn't win, so I had to come to work today. But uh, if I did, I could have shared. We shared a little bit. Here's the gray background. Um, here is the blue background, just so you can get an idea of the two colors. And let's see what else we've got here. Remember, I told you I have some solids that are in the brush strokes. Really pretty brush strokes. You can kind of see. That's it. Sounded like I said brush stroke. <laughs> brush stroke. Peggy, hey. So here is the navy pink. It's kind of like a fuchsia color. Really nice, bright pink. And then there is a cream one in here somewhere. Here it is. I'm going to look. Here it is. Ooh, yummy, 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 yummy. So this is a cream background with kind of gray, gray um, paint strokes. I know the bicycles with the gray are really pretty, aren't they? I'm thinking a bag with them, like one of those travel bags that uh, by Annie Patterns would be really pretty. There's a couple of big bags that are by um, Pink Sand Beach that I think would look really good with those because they're so pretty I would hate to cut them up into smaller pieces. So this has the gray paint swashes. You can really see it like right there. You can tell where the paintbrush stopped. I know, love the blue diamonds. I know I'm coming to that. And then here is, this is just a watercolor type of print. That's the turquoise that matches all of this. You can kind of see it. I'm gonna pull it down here so you can see it a little bit better. You can see the little bit of a watercolor. So let's talk about this one that has, um, this looks like a string quilt, string quilting right here. And again, using the paper background like this, you can see the newspaper print and where it was sewn. I know it's really pretty. And um, I love this one. And then the diamonds right here. Pretty, right? This is in the fuchsia or pink one, pink background. And then I've got it also in a blue. So it's kind of a bluish turquoise. I love the turquoise, the, um, what do you call this? Neon, kind of orangey pink right there. It's really pretty. So this is the one with the blue. This is the one with the pink. Then coming up on the end here, I've got this line. I don't know, they kind of make me want to say little flags, but maybe not. I can't really decide what it is, but it's a great little all over print. Oops, sorry. Great little all over print. You can see here's the scale to get an idea of how big it is. I just saw the word yoga on here somewhere. Look at that. Yoga. It just has, again, little newspaper clipping type of stuff. Not any particular direction, so you can use it any way you want, and it's got a gray background. And then, pretty. These look like torn stars that were made out of newspaper. It's got that uh, blue background that looks like it's painted or modeled. It looks more like it's painted and faded in a couple of areas. And then it looks like you took a little bit of bleach right here to do the design, bleached it out. It's got that kind of uh, look to it where the lines aren't very straight, which is why I think it looks like uh, bleach. And then the stars look like torn newspaper. You can see that. Really, really pretty. So. That is everything I wanted to show you today. I'm so glad you stopped in to join us. And I have some more fun stuff coming in this week. So I invite you to stop by and see. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find us whatever. This is Tisha Copeland at Not Your Mama's Quilt Store. And we're saying bye. Thanks.